I know I normally don't do pro stuff, but num former Baylor men's tennis player Jensen Brooks be knocked off the number five player in the world last night. He lost the first set 6-1, but won the second 6-3, but won the third 6-2. No matter what, worst case scenario, he'll be at number 39 in the world. He is He's going. He's in the round of 16 at Indian Wells now. He will play Cameron Cam Nori, a former TC men's tennis player. Uh, that's and ironically, Jensen before he ruled at Baylor, he committed to TCU, or he was considering TCU at the time. To give some background on him, he's 21 years old and he's from Sacramento, California, but he enrolled at Baylor. In Jan January 2020, he unfortunately didn't play because of injury. And then obviously, whenever he was about to come back a few weeks later, the season got cut short. And obviously, he decided to turn pro last year. And I think if he would have played at Bear last year, they would have won the national championship. I mean, he would have been the number one singles player. And you move everyone else down. He, Jensen would have gotten defeated, but I don't blame him for turning pro because he's doing pretty well for himself. I mean, he, he was too good for his own good to stay in college, but he was 300 something in the world at one point, and now he's going to be at least number 39, maybe even higher with a win. That's just insane. In one year. In little over a year since he turned pro full time, that's incredible. He's definitely a future top ten player in the world at one point in his career. For down the line, as long as he stays healthy, he's got every shot he want. It's just the serve might be improve needs to improve a little bit, just to win some points off your serve, so you don't have to grind it out every time. But he's a tough player. The play and I, he did pretty good at the U.S. Open last year too. And unfortunately, you, he didn't play Australian Open because he had COVID, but, as well as his coach. But I'm pretty sure he's going to have more opportunities down the line. And there's the French Open coming up, like in a few months from now, like at least two months from now, or something like that. We'll see how he does in a major because Indian Wells is not a major. It's one of those, it's a bigger minor tournament, but not like a itty bitty tournament either. Because it's a two week thing, not just a one week. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. And that's going to be up to 400 subscribers or more by, uh, by the end of this year. I also had the pleasure of talking to him a little bit when he was at Baylor. Very nice young man. And he loves Baylor. And he still does. Up to this name.